Hey guys, it's D with the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. Tim is MIA all week due to his much needed vacation. So I wanted to get this question out to you guys. As you all know, the MLB All-Star rosters have been announced today. And we can go on and on talking about the snubs. Or I could give you my starters who I think should represent the AL and the NL. But instead of giving you that overkill here at the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report, I decided that we would discuss something that actually matters. Should it count? And when I say count, I mean, as most of you know, this game counts. The winner, either the American League or National League, of this game will then, in turn, be granted home field advantage in the World Series. Now, I want you guys all to think about that, absorb that, and really actually give it some thought. Should the winner be granted home field advantage because of a victory, a game that has never counted before until recent times when Bud Sealing wanted to interject some fresh blood into the All-Star game, which in my opinion was already the best All-Star festivity of all the major sports. So I didn't really see a point in the first place to do this drastic measure. There's a few huge problems to this. Number one, and this is the biggest one to me, Major League Baseball has a 162-game season. Check that. 162 games to decide. All these matters, in my opinion. So obviously, the simple answer would be, give it to the best team with the best record. If you earn it with wins, you should get home field advantage in the World Series. It's simple to me. I'm not sure why it's so complex to everybody else who is in Major League Baseball, but it, it, it's just a simple concept. And the second huge problem I have with it is the fans decide the starters. This year, it's not so bad in my opinion. Really, I think the only spot they missed it at was shortstop in the AL that should not have been Derek Jeter. It should have been Estrebo Cabrera. Derek Jeter shouldn't even be on the roster. The backup for Cabrera should be Johnny Peralta out of Detroit. That's the only one that I really have a huge issue with. But generally, most years we have issues in the starting lineup. And if this game is going to count, do you really think we should have an aging superstar on the team? No. It shouldn't. The fans should have nothing to do with it if this game is going to count. And that's why it shouldn't. The All-Star game should be about the fans. The fans should get to vote the rosters in because the game shouldn't count. Simple as that. That's my opinion. Now I want to hear your opinion. The floor is yours. Please comment. Explain yourself. Explain why you think it should count. Explain why it shouldn't count. Just give a detailed response on what you think and why it would be beneficial to do it a certain way. I also was going to note this, but they're doing the home run derby a little different this year. I'm happy about that. I like to see change in these games, but like I said earlier, I just do not think it should count. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. I'm going to get back to you guys later in the week. Another video pertaining baseball. The first half is almost up. We're going to be talking some midseason awards, most surprising teams, and all that stuff, guys. Have a great night, guys.